Two of the most common treatments for sleep apnea are CPAP and BiPAP. You might see these terms used interchangeably, but they're really quite different. Of course, both machines perform the same function, they pressurize and deliver air directly into your breathing passages, but the difference is in the way they pressurize that air. So let's talk about why you might prefer one over the other and some of the fundamental differences between the two. And as always, talk to your doctor about which machine is right for your therapy. All right, well, let's start with CPAP. This stands for continuous positive air pressure. And the keyword here is continuous. Now, when you have sleep apnea, your airway narrows at night, which can cause snoring, impaired breathing, and often choking or gasping. And by the way, we have a lot of videos all about sleep apnea and ways to improve sleep apnea symptoms over on our YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe. A CPAP machine delivers strong airflow to the nose and mouth to keep your airways open. The goal here is to improve your breathing at night and a CPAP machine uses continuous air pressure all night long. Your doctor will determine the amount of this pressure based on the severity of your symptoms. Severe symptoms usually warrant higher pressure levels, whereas minor to moderate symptoms may not require as much pressure. Pressure is measured in a unit known as centimeters of water. Most CPAP machines can be programmed between four and 20 centimeters of water, with the average person needing to eight to 10. Since you'll need a prescription for your CPAP therapy, you won't be able to change the machine's pressure level yourself. Instead, your doctor monitors your therapy to make sure it's effective. If not, they can recommend more or less pressure. But for some, the continuous pressure is too much. We often breathe out at a lower pressure than we breathe in, and some may find the fixed pressure of the CPAP to be just too uncomfortable. So what's the solution? Well, for that, we have the BiPAP. A BiPAP is mostly the same as the CPAP, but as we said, the difference lies in how that pressure is applied. BiPAP stands for bi-level positive airway pressure. And the bi-level means you get one pressure level when inhaling and a different pressure level when exhaling. Most BiPAP users receive more pressure when breathing in and less pressure when breathing out. Like the CPAP, both pressure levels are prescribed by your doctor, so you won't be able to change these either. Another difference is pressure range. BiPAP machines can usually be programmed between four and 30 centimeters of water. This means people with severe sleep apnea symptoms need a relatively high pressure level may require BiPAP therapy. It's worth mentioning that only the machine is programmed for continuous or bi-level positive air pressure. You can use the same mask and the connective hoses for CPAP and for BiPAP therapies. So the good news is that if your doctor recommends switching you from one to the other, you won't need to invest in a bunch of new equipment, just the machine. So when it comes down to it, is one machine better than the other? Well, it really just comes down to a personal preference. Many people feel comfortable with a lower pressure level when exhaling and stronger pressure for inhaling. This is why BiPAP is often preferred over CPAP and its fixed pressure level. But a BiPAP is usually much more expensive than a CPAP. The average CPAP machine costs between $500 and $1,000, and BiPAP machines typically start at $1,700. Some can cost as much as $3,000. Plus, your insurance may not cover the cost of a BiPAP machine unless your CPAP therapy fails and your doctor wants to prescribe a different type of therapy. But regardless of which you choose, the machine is only going to be as effective as the fit and the comfort of your mask. Finding the right mask requires a little bit of trial and error. For more information on which mask to choose, check out our video right here. But the bottom line, both CPAP and BiPAP have proven effective at treating sleep apnea. Which one is better will probably come down to your personal preferences. Thanks for watching. Sweet dreams, everyone.